Father, thank you for this wonderful day. We give you praise, Lord. We worship you. We honor you, King of Kings. We bless your holy name, mighty Father. For there is none like you. Faithful is your name. Marvelous are your ways, Lord. We say, Blessed be the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Brethren, this morning we are going to give God a wonderful thanks and appreciation of all he has been doing in our lives. The Bible says marvelous in our sight for what he has done. Songwriter says for what he has done, I will praise him. Wherever, wherever you are right now, wherever you are, lift up your heart before the Lord. Reference the Lord. Adore him in respect to his glorious works in your life and your family. Lift your voice before him and say, Lord, thank you. Let nothing hold your mouth from giving thanks to the Lord. And this is the time to worship the Lord. Lift up your heart before him. Let everything, or every other thing wait for this hour of worship. Let every activity wait for this hour of worship. If you are work, you are a sexual worker, you mean you can take a break at this time and take a moment of worship. Lift up your voice before him and bless him. Thank him for his wonderful works and his kindness and his love. For it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. It is his mercy. Father, we bless you this morning. We join the whole world to magnify your holy name. We join 24,000 in heaven. We join the angels, the archangels, to lift your name on high. To say, blessed be the holy name. You have been so good. Our Father in heaven, we thank you. We say, hello, be your name. This is another week you have led us out to and taking us to a wonderful month of June that is ahead. Lord, we say thus far, we are grateful. In that to have the Lord been upon us and Lord taking us through this coronavirus pandemic. It is risen to lift your name on high. Thank you, faithful God. The church of God say thank you. The children say thank you. The men, the women, we all will say thank you for your wonderful, marvelous day in our life. In Jesus' name. Wherever you are this morning, lift up your heart before the Lord. And ask Father Lord that in this day, let it be a blessing to me. Let this service bring joy. Let this service bring peace. Let this service manifest your miracle in my life. Open your mouth and pray. Ask God to speak to you in this service. Ask God to touch your family, touch your life, touch your business, touch your job. Do something wonderful. Do something new in your life today. Father, do something new. Do something miraculous. Do something excellent. Do something that only you can do in my life in my family, in our church, in our home. Father, do what only you can do. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. And lastly, we are going to intercede on behalf of me. Go pray and ask God, as men that are sick, as men that are passing through one situation or the other, that the Spirit of the living God will touch them today. That as they will as they will be in fellowship today, that the Lord, our God, will minister to them, minister all of, to all of us, that we will not remain the same after this service. We will not remain the same after this service. We will not remain the same after this worship. Open your mouth and pray for them. As men that are sick, whatever they are, the Lord will lift them before you. We pray for their healing, perfect their health in the name of Jesus. As men that are living in fear and this fear and this, this, this array, Lord, reach out to them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. As many that are waiting upon the Lord for one 
thing or the other. But the fruit of the womb will lift them before you. As men are waiting on the Lord, on the Lord for union in their home, union in their marriage. Father, we pray for them that they will find peace in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As men are seeking for comfort in the name of God. Father, comfort them by your love. Comfort them by your mercy. Comfort them by your grace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we continue to lift up our people before you. Wherever they are going through, Lord. Father, this is them, O oh God. For your love is stronger. For your love is great. We bless you, Lord, this morning. We worship your faithful God. We give thanks unto your holy name. Blessed be the name of the Lord that has not failed us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you as a church. We gather this morning to worship you. We pray, O oh Lord, as we lift our voice before you, as we seek and listen to your words today, Father, touch us. Let us not remain the same. Let our home not remain the same. Let us be blessed as we gather this day in your presence. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you, marvelous God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Brethren, this is the day that the Lord has made indeed. We rejoice for this wonderful day. We rejoice for the good news. We rejoice that we are counted among the living. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have all cause to rejoice. Amen. That we are alive is a living testimony. That we we are we have not received any bad news. Every one of us are living hale and healthy. We say to God that I've done this to him, be the glory. In the name of Jesus. Listen to the few, few announcements that we have. Well, thank God for the state of lifted the ban of the shutdown. That means that we we resume our normal service. Praise the Lord. So, see you all on Sunday. Amen. Praise the Lord. And also, be reminded that as you go out, please take precaution. Wear your face mask. Protect yourself. The virus is still out there. But the Lord that has been with us will continue to protect us in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember to join our Wednesday prayer. Um, um, oh, us. Remember to join firstly Bible study Tuesday 6 p.m. Praise the Lord and Wednesday prayer 7 p.m. to 7:30. Please join and Friday 7 p.m. as well to 7:30. Hallelujah! As many of us that joined the um, night VG of last Friday, I believe you see the wonders of the Lord. The Lord is doing wonderful things in our midst. To Him be the glory time of prayer. Amen. As we have been advised, we should pray so that we will not be a prey. Hallelujah. Amen. Also, remember to um, call on and check on uh, our brethren, our young ones, on the, our youth, and our men, men, the men unit, the women. Let's call people and ask for their welfare and check on them. And I see you that God will bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. If there is any announcement, and our pastor and the Lord will let us know before we close. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So let's quickly recap our Sunday school. Amen. Wonderfully, today is the last topic of our current uh, Sunday school season. Manu. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is that wonderful? So meaning as we come uh, next week, we are going to come with a new lesson. Praise the Lord. And a new manner. May majority of us have that. So, so when you come in, you have your praise God. It's a, it's a wonderful time. Last week we talked about the Redeemer will come. Indeed, our Redeemer has come. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is our Amen. And we know that is coming back again. Amen. It's coming back. And it's coming back is for us to embark on a glorious wedding. 
Amen. When the bride will meet with the bridegroom. When we will meet with him. The time with him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But today, we are recapping on this week's topic that says, The kings enter not through. The kings enter not through. And that leads us to the book of Psalm 45, verse 1 to 17. And that memory verse is wonderful. Amen. It's short and comprised of great, great good, good thing there. It says, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scatter of thy king, kingdom is a righteous scepter. Praise the Lord. Psalm 45, verse 6. The throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of the kingdom is a righteous scepter. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The king's eternal throne. Over here, we will we learn a wonderful thing from the scripture. Like in verse number 1, our Verse 1 says, My heart is in treat. Oh good, my, my, oh, good matters. I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. A tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Psalm 45, verse 1. I see it said, they're talking about the, the writer. The psalmist he expressed himself and was eager to say that he's writing about the king. His heart is overflowing with positive thought, a good thought about the Lord. Amen. Amen. Skill, joy about the Lord. But so he, the psalmist said, Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured unto the lips. Therefore, God bless thee forever. We are the children of God. Peter said to all that we are royal priesthood, a holy nation, and we show forth the praise of God. Our God has made us kings and queens. To him be the glory. The lesson learned, the soul said, that loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, that, that God, has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above the fellow. What set us apart is the love and the pursuit of righteousness. That's what set us apart from the rest of the world. What makes us the children of God is the love of God and the hate of iniquity. Praise the Lord. And the hate of sin. That is who we are. And that makes us unique. And that's why God loves us. Praise the Lord. The king's daughter were among the honorable women upon the right and did stand the queen's good of offer. What is that saying to us? When this brings us to whom we are, that we should be re ready to speak to others about the goodness of God. Be skillful, write about the goodness, talk about the goodness of God. Amen. For what he has done for you. There is no testimony than your own testimony to your neighbors, to your friends, to your colleagues. I say there is no big testimony than your own testimony. As small as you think it is, it is wonderful and it's powerful to bring men and women to God. That I was once this, and now I am this. I, am, I was once like this, but now I am saved. I was once a sinner, but now God has saved me. This is how he has saved me. That is your message. And who saved you? Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Simple. That is our message. A songwriter said, Jesus, and Jesus only is our message. Praise the Lord. Another thing again, he said, whether in serving sinners or defeating their enemies, God will ultimately 
be victorious. Our God will ultimately be what? Victorious. But he, because what? He is a conqueror. A servant that says, conquerors are we now. You are a conqueror because our Father is conqueror. Is victorious. Praise the Lord. Victorious over sin. Amen. And people ask, he said, why will iniquity tarry? And Jesus answered, he says, God, our Father, give us an example. He said, we will allow the wheat, the ties to grow among the wheat, among the, the good seed. But remember when the Father will send the harvesters. That they will what first of all gather the tithes. They will take out the tithes and gather them and tie them, bound them, and put them in unquenchable fire. Praise the Lord. God's time is the best. And again, that speaks to vengeance is of the Lord. God will rule forever, and we will bless those who love righteousness and hate wickedness. He will rule forever. He will bless you for your righteousness. My brother, my sister, the work of your righteousness, please, don't joke with it. Don't think that it will be swept under the floor, under the rock. No. God will certainly reward righteousness. Jesus elaborate. It's a peace. Are the peace blessed are the peacemakers. Blessed are those that seek peace and follow after righteousness. For yes, the kingdom of God. They have part in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. God will pour his bride, the church. God will honor them. God will definitely honor his bride. We are the bride of God. God will honor us. Amen. Be patient. Wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. When he comes, he will reward you. He will hear us. A room. What is that room called? A celestial body, an incorruptible body, a body that will not die forever. Mm. We must leave behind our old life to follow God. Following God is everyday commitment. The Son is good teach us now that we will continue to follow Him. Being Christian is every day. In the time of pandemic, we will serve the Lord. In the time of, when it's raining, we will serve the Lord. In the time of, of winter, we will serve the Lord. In summer, we will serve the Lord. We used to sing the song, Under the rain, under the sun, I will follow the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we shall see. Now the pandemic is over. Your Z, will it be more? Your Z, will it, has, has it been drained? Because you have no fellowship before? Or will it be the one that will say, After all, I have taken a low break, so the break will break me out from the, from, from the fellowship of God? Let it not be so. But you will be the one that will bounce back with Z in serving the Lord. And I bet you the Lord will reward you Amen. with his blessing. Amen. God clothes his bride. God clothes us with righteousness. He clothes us with his with power, with his glory, the robe of God. We shall you a crown. We shall you a crown in the new Jerusalem. When this battle is over. Beloved, we are in battle. The Bible has told us time without number that we are in battle. And when such as the battle we are battling now is one of those battles. The battle is not only the fight between you and your parents, the fight between you and people that don't want to serve the Lord and that persecute you. The fight is everything that the devil, the Satan, or this world throws at us. But we shall wear a crown. A crown when this battle is over. But I bet you, soon and very soon, this battle will soon be over. And lastly, the people of God have been commissioned to share the news of Christ. We have been commissioned to share the good news of Christ. A closed mouth is a closed heaven. An open mouth is an open heaven. In terms of prayer, when you open your mouth to the Lord, and heaven will be opened unto you. In terms of evangelism, when you close your mouth, Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me, in when you will close, what do you say? I will also be what? Ashamed of God forbid. We will speak. We will not be ashamed. 
of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. As is written in the book of Romans chapter 1, verse 16, it's Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, for it stays the gift of God unto salvation. To the Roman and also unto the Greek, even to as many that the Lord we call. Shall we bow down our head now? And ask yourself a question. Do I still love God? Is my love for God, is it down? Is it high? Is it floating in the middle? Remember, it's a lukewarm church. There is no room for lukewarmness. Revelation chapter 2. There is no room for lukewarmness. He had the heart. Shall we ask God? Have mercy upon me. Strengthen me. Keep me born in every day. Forgive me my trespasses. And now, O oh Lord, I come before you. Strengthen me. You are there. You are weak. You know in your in you that if the trumpet blow now, that you have doubt if you will be rapturable. But today you can say, Say, Father, make me die, O oh Lord. Make me, O oh Lord, ready. That when you will come, I will wear the crown of God. Father, we pray this morning. Speak to us, O Lord. Have mercy. Clean us, O God. Sanctify us, O God. As many of us that have not come even to you, we come to you, O Lord, today. Asking, Father, be our God. Be our deliverer. Be our redeemer. Be our savior. Cleanse us from our sins and bring us to your righteousness. By the mercy of your son, Jesus Christ, that died for our sins, all of us, on the cross of Calvary. We accept you, Lord, as our Lord and personal Savior. We, O oh Lord, reject our wrong way, our wrong doing, our evil thoughts, our wrong thoughts and wrong meditation. We come back unto you, God. I come back unto you, God. Father, hear that man, hear that woman, hear that child, and cleanse us and bring us back to your fold. This is our prayer today. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. God bless you. That's a wonderful time. And for more of our wonderful Sunday school, we want you to come in to our Sunday. Come to Christian Liberty Chapel and meet with us. 6660 Security Bulletin, Baltimore, Maryland. When we will study more and you know, ask time, have time for question and answer into the word of God. Okay, quickly, we are going to do our church offerings. We are going to offer to the Lord. Amen. Offering time is always a blessed time. Wherever you are, lift your hand in your pocket. You can give online. Wherever you are right now to us, you can give with cash app. You can mail your check. And uh, our cash app name is dollar sign Liberty Chapel. You can see it right on the screen. Let's give to the glory of the Lord. As you bring up whatever the seed you have or the touch that you have, we're going to lift it up before the Lord. Let's pray. Father in heaven, our daddy that never fails, the river that never dries, we come to you to appreciate you with a token of increase. We pray that as we sow this seed, as we give this offering, as we pay our tithes, Father bless it. Let the blessing of the Father from above reign in our lives in the name of Jesus. The children have present their tithes before you. Father, if some of us can take go, go, think back and go back and go to our grandfather and say, Grandpa, I am presenting this for you to lift your hand and bless me in your old age. How much more God that have been the ancient of days that we have come to honor him with our tithes because he has asked us of it. Father, we honor you with our tithes. We pray that the blessing of tithing will remain with us in the name of Jesus. You bless Abraham because he tithes to you. You bless Isaac. You bless men of old that gives. Jesus of our Lord here. You bless as many that the scripture record in the Old and the New Testament that gives 
Even Mary Madeline. Father, we pray. Let this one be marked for blessing that came to you today. In the name of Jesus. And even the ones that have their hearts to give. But they have not right now. That you open door for them. That they will be blessed. And they will give to your glory. And even them that give to men. Bless them. They that give, O oh Lord. To them that you are called to give. To the needy. We say bless them as well. Bless us. That we will be a blessing to this world. In Jesus name we are praying. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you. We are set to for a wonderful praise and worship time. I prepare you. Sing and dance wherever you are. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank <laughs> you. 
Because he thinks reason we are going higher. What should we So that they said unto one another, Look, 
the king of Israel has hired the Hittites and the Egyptians came to attack us. Verse 7. So they got up and fled in the dusk and abandoned their tents and their horses and donkeys. They left the camp as it was and ran for their lives. Verse 8. Then, I want you to observe this place very well. Verse 8 and 9. The men who had leprosy reached the edge of the camp, entered one of the tents, and ate and drank. Drunk. They then they took silver, gold, and clothes and went up and hid them. They returned and entered another tent and took some things from it and hid it also. The last verse, which is nine. Then they said to each other. What we are doing is not right. This is a day of good news. And we are keeping it to ourselves. If we wait until daylight, punishment will overtake us. Let's go at once and report to the royal palace. Hallelujah. Here we read about uh, exactly what happened during the time the Samarians were in a drought, a famine, serious famine. If we go back to chapter 6, of uh, that second king, which I'm not going to read because of time. I just want to tell you what really happened before they got to this situation. Chapter 6, from verses 24 to 31. We saw that uh, the famine was so tense to the extent that it got to a point whereby they begin to eat, kill their children, and eat their children. It was so tense. So terrible. A, a day passed by when the king of that city was passing by and began to hear from uh, two females that were about to fight. Why are they fighting? The, the, I, I believe all the things they used to eat ever before, like yam, might be, like, like uh, cassava or whatever they they finished that. And they don't have anything to eat. Now, they now decided that what we will be doing right now will be killing one or all our children and we keep cooking them and be eating them. It's all tense. Let me tell you, when things are tense, that's when they call crisis. When crisis come, that is when people think faster. They will think. Some people don't think when there are crises, that is why they find themselves in trouble. That is why they find themselves in the same area. People are saying with slang right now, right now, right now, right now, throughout the world, there is nothing like normal. But they call it new normal. New normal. What is normal before now is, is, is not to be reckoned with. Some people will still sit in what was they were doing before. Good results. We have, that is why I tagged the, the title of my message. I said, Be courageous. Move with the trend of things. Be courageous. Move with the trend of things. If you don't move, if you don't move, you will have to start to be blamed. But you have to move into the right direction. If you don't move into the right direction, you will regret. Crisis or 
sometimes is good. Crisis push people to do what is right. If they think right. These women, they don't even mention their name, they conspire together now. Now, we have had everything we have, nothing more left. Everything is consumed already. Then we'll be killing our children. And they begin to kill, kill their children and begin to eat it. That's when the king now knows that this thing is a big thing. And they will begin to look for the prophet, prophet Elisha, at this time. They begin to look for him. And Elijah one day just come out and he say something. That is where we are going right now. He said, by this time of so, 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 so period, a shekel of yeast or maybe like a bread or whatever will be sold for a, 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 a money that nobody ever imagined that is so because the, this thing is already scarce. They don't find it anymore. And it gives them people, some people don't even believe that it can happen. They don't believe. They don't believe. When uh, this problem of COVID-19 started, nobody has ever expected it. What we call crisis is what you don't expect that happened. That is crisis. Hardly do we prepare for crisis. And that is why we meet ourselves where we meet ourselves right now. A lot of countries now, in their schools, in their universities, in their colleges, they are not doing online. They don't even bother to work on that before. But here is crisis. When you have crisis, you have no other thing than to move. And if you don't move, then you die. You have to move. People say you got to do what you got to do. If you don't do what you got to do, then you, you are in trouble. People that are belated, people that are not moving with the trend, they know where they find themselves right now. Now, it happens at that particular time. There were some people that had been segregated. That people don't even think they want anything. They kept them in the bush. They call them leprosies, le lepers. They were there. I am very sure before they carried this, their decision out, they must have been discussing this thing in their camp. What do we do now? They are hearing the news of what is happening out there. What is happening out there? They, they, they heard the news that a lot of things are so hard in the city right now. A lot of food that people have before, nothing. They have begun to kill their children, eating their children. Now, what do we do? Then one of them now say, what we are going to do? See, it is good to make a decision, but it is good to carry out your decision. The, decision, the good decision you make and carry out results into beautiful things. Very many years back, I went to visit a brother of mine in Los Angeles. And he took me to a museum of aerograms where they make aeroplanes. Then we saw all the old aeroplanes, the first one they made. We saw it. The one they made that 10 years after. The one they made. We saw everything. I was surprised. There are some of it. You see, a lot of it. We saw, we saw all those things. And I began to think that uh, it, the, the, the inventors, those who invent things, they, they, they are not afraid of change. So 
people are afraid of change. When you are afraid of change, you will not be able to do anything successfully. What we need to do is to move with change. Is to go. Then when there is change, then you think. What do I do? Where am, where am, I, where am I now? Right now, right now. Where am I? Where, what is the next step I need to take? Some people will not do that. They will just sit down and be crying. And be crying. A lot of things that's happening right now, it has moved so many people to another level. And where are some people are still sitting down? People that used to send to us back in Africa, back in different places, that sent me money, sent me money. And they, they now know that here too, the thing that is ravaging over there is ravaging here. They, they have no place to go. So when you need to move, if you don't move, just like this, you will die. You will die. And we not believe. You will not be relevant any longer. If you want to be relevant, if you want to move forward, you have to be able to change and adapt to a better thing. These people, in their camp, in their leprosy camp, they begin to think. That's what people say, think outside the box. If you still stay in the box, Nothing is going to happen to you. Nothing good is going to happen to you. And I want to tell you, this time of COVID, some people, by the grace of God, that do not die. Some of them have made it up. Some of them have started up so many things. How do we do this? 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 That's, some people, throughout this uh, COVID, they begin to sleep, sleep, and they, they sleep throughout the time. No no thinking of any movement. No thinking of any progress. No thinking of another idea. Some people use the time of this COVID to pray for ideas. Ideas move the world. When this light, the bulb, was invent, invented, it doesn't come out like this it, at that particular time. Buy and buy and buy and buy and buy and buy, and buy. progress. Whatever you are doing, and you are thinking over it, praying over it, moving over it, then there will be progress. Progress. I was listening to a lady on the television back in Nigeria. She said she's a university graduate. After finishing his university, uh, university grad, uh, uh, education, there was no job. Then somebody advises her to go and learn tailoring. And she went and learned tailoring. And uh, after the freedom, she, was, she established. And things begin to rosy, moving forward. She said, most especially during the weekend, it's in Lagos, she's in Lagos. Then most especially on weekends, people used to bring clothes for her to sew. And things began to move forward. And a lot of our friends come to her to learn that street. Where am I going? He said, it's now happened that uh, the lock-up came. Nobody can do anything any longer. And uh, the introduction of uh, Max. The one you use to cover it or your nose and your mask up. And she she went to, to, to the market to buy the type of the mask the, 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 the people are making. And she now sit down and say, Well, because of my education, I must be over these people, I must surpass them. She now does her own in a different way that people love. It, it came out, she came out of the box. And uh, she put, stay, put this, and did it in a very fine form to the extent that people in Balogun 
people in different places begin to rush to her, buy dozens, buy thousands, and so on and so forth. But I'm telling you, some people will lock their doors. They tell, tell us like her, will lock their doors. They will, they, will, they will be shivering inside the house, looking for who will give them a few, few money for them to eat and forget about it. But this lady doesn't do that. So we need to move. It is dangerous for us in one place. If we stay, we will die. I'm very sure a lot of churches have died during this COVID. A lot of businesses have died during this COVID. A lot of marriages have died during this COVID because they don't sit down and continue to complain. There's nothing you are going to get from complaining than death. Your job with that, your church with that, your marriage with that, because you keep on complaining. A lot of businesses in America right now, they are doing home, they, 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 they are working from home. And before this COVID, there was nothing like that. Nothing. Even if they are very few, very, very few. But you don't, Tim has to go. This leper, they now decided. Not that they just decided and stayed there. They said, now we are, we are, we are going out. If we are killed, so be it. And if we come back, glory to God. And when they were going, God has made the people in the city where they are going to, to hear voices of large army that they are coming. And they left all they have things they have saved. They left it and ran away. And into one of the house, with courage. See, you need the courage to do any exploit. You need courage. This Facebook, Instagram, and everything, all these things that is coming out now, is out of courage. The time you started it, it will not go straight. It will not be like what it is right now. But when you put courage, then you think. You think, you pray. God will just come to you, God give you ideas, 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 more ideas, more ideas. Then things will be pushing forward. And you will be one of the front, first fronters that, that will be in poor front. People will just now be uh, 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 emulating you. So this man, the, one of the lepers just saw that he went there and took maybe some bread or some yam or some uh, kukumba, and nobody challenged him. Ah, this is good. And he went straight and called the rest of people. Now, this is what happened. Oh, go to another place. With courage. With courage, we can make it. With courage, we can be successful. But if we are not courageous, you will remember when David was about to face Goliath. Thank God, God helped him. But he was courageous as well. And he begins to relate to what God has done in his life before. There are some people that God has done a lot in their life, but they forgot when problem comes. Nobody tells you that there will be no problem. Problem can come, but if you are courageous and if you go with faith, you will be successful. Whatever God puts in your mind as an idea, this is the time to execute it. If you fail to execute it, you will see some people that are executing it that uh, things are good for them. These lepers they later become a distributor. They later become, a, so to say, a millionaire. 
food distributor. But if they don't at first come out, they will just die there. And that will be their end. So, this morning, I am encouraging you to encourage yourself. If nobody encourages, encourages you, encourage yourself. Whatever you are doing, provided you have the Lord as your backing, move forward. Provided you are ready for a change. Some people, change is very difficult. Change is very difficult. But immediately you move, then God will move with you. But if you refuse to move, you will just be there. And that will be the end of this. For this reason, this, this morning, I have four things that I want to tell you before before uh, I round up and pray for you. Lesson to learn from Christ. Number one, you have to think outside the box. Don't sit down there. Number two, be ready for a change. Don't say this is how we used to do it. This is I remember during the Abiola era in Nigeria that uh, things were so tough. The sawdust that uh, people used to, to dump anywhere, people begin to use it as uh, their stove to cook food. A lot of things people invented at that particular time. When there is no crisis, there will be no movement. There will be no progress. So this money, be ready for a change. Don't say this is how we used to do it, even though it's not good. The farmers of the time I, I, I used to be, the, the, the time I was younger, if that is the farming you are still doing right now, you need to move. The farming we are doing at that time is just for us to eat and give to a little people. But there's what they call mechanized farming right now. If you want to do that, it's going to cost you time, change, and uh, so many things. Move. If you don't move, you can die. The last one before I pray. Amen. Then don't quit. People made it because they don't quit. Quitter will never win. Winner will never quit. All those athletes you see that are in flying colors today all over the world, tell them what they have gone through before they made it. Don't think you are too old. Don't think you are too young. Move. If you move, God will move with you. But you will sit down just like the lepers. Don't, they don't do that. If you sit down, you will just die. Some people are living, but they are already dead. Some, their jaws they, they, is dead. Because they are not ready to move. This morning I'm going to pray with you. Because from now, by the grace of God, you are moving in the name of Jesus. And your life will move. And if there is anything that is happening in your own, your own family, maybe you have to sit down and think, what can I do better? How can I do it better? How can I bring change so that this thing will not be like this again? Some people, they are, they are very good in begging. How, how can I get a so so dollar from you? How can I get a so so food from you? How can I get a two pairs of shirts from you? Because they are not ready to move. I encourage you from now onward. Move. Those, the people you are begging from, 
they move. That is why they have, and that is why you can get from them. You need to move. Start to rely on people. Father, we give you glory, Lord. We thank you so much for your word that has come out this morning. And I have no doubt in my mind that our people, they are moving in the name of Jesus. They are moving from glory to glory. They are moving from glory to glory. As they are coming out right now from lockdown, Lord, you are moving them. Those that are workers in the church, in the church is all over, that have been sitting down thinking that uh, they, so they, when this uh, pandemic comes, nobody ever expected. If it is Jesus Christ that came, some people will just be crying, will be shouting. Lord, Father, give everyone that is hearing me right now the spirit of moving forward. Depending on Holy God, not depending on who man be. And at this time, Lord, I pray for all the people that you are using right now to spread the news despite that the difficulties are surrounding it. Father, continue to strengthen them. Give them the grace. Give them the wisdom. God will give you glory. And if there is anyone that has been laid off from their jobs right now, Lord of Providence, provide a better one for them. Provide a better one from them. And if there is anyone that is on sick bed right now, Lord, I commit them to you right now. Let the power of healing go into them right now and lift them up. Lord, we give you glory. We thank you. And next Sunday, by the grace of God, when we meet together physically, Lord, let me share testimony. We give you glory, Lord. Thank you because we have prayed. In Jesus' name. By the grace of God, this online service is not going to stop. We are moving forward. We are not stopping. Physical also will be going along with it. And we will both praise the Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Amen.